In the past, I've shared the company of others that moved outside traditional paths. But this band of folks is by far the most exotic. Exotic? You looked at me as you said that. What are you trying to say, Sky? Yeah, what are you trying to say, Sky? Actually, you took it the wrong way around. You seem a bit more conventional than, say, Wildflower or Zoo. The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Jade Empire. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, as soon as I loaded the game, it immediately went into that cutscene. I think it's because I saved right in front of my, right in front of the campsite, and thus, as soon as I, as soon as I loaded, um, they went straight into into that little conversation sequence. So, apologies for that. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, I believe the last thing that happened when we left off was we... Oh man, we had a pretty long, like, well, two and a half hour, I think, session where we actually went over to the pirates, we met up with some pirates, and met two more characters, major characters, Sky and Dr. Frank, or whatever his name is. Mad Kang, that's it, Mad Kang, who was, like, the airship guy. He's Sid, basically. Pretty much he's Sid. And, um, and then we ended up fighting Gao the Greater, which is pretty exciting. And now we got the flyer, and we got the wind maps, and I think we're trying to figure out the best way to head over to the Empire, or something like that. Something along those lines. <laughs> Anyway, what was that you said? The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. Um... <laughs> I, I'm gonna be playful. So, we can assume Sky is hiding the part that doesn't ram its foot into its mouth? I certainly hope that part's in there somewhere. Look, I didn't mean to say... Anyway, I meant no offense to anyone. And I'll just leave it at that. Aw, Sky, you're adorable when you're apologetic. Um, yeah, Sky, let's talk. Let's talk to you. I uh, I'd like to get to know you a little better. Something's on your mind? Well, yeah. I mean, you kind of you intrigue me, sir. Uh, do you have a minute to talk? Of course. I was just thinking about things. Gal richly deserved his death, but I'm not sure I ever really expected it to happen. Um... How does that make you feel? I feel fine, but determined. Our work isn't done, but we've taken a small step by removing that stain upon the Empire's honor. I agree. How did you track Gao? Gao's slavers took my daughter, Pin Mei, and I was able to follow them. Fortunately, they didn't cover their tracks. I chased them down, trying to reach her. Yeah... I was too late. Pin Mei was spirited, and I'm sure she fought them. I believe they decided she was too much trouble and killed her. Five years old, and they ran her through. That is... awful. That is... that's not right. I found her dead by the roadside and stopped my pursuit. By the time I cared to continue my chase, the slavers were long gone. That's terrible. I'm, I'm sorry to bring this up. It's fine. Thank you for your concern, but for the most part, I've come to terms with her death. Still, that's got to be really painful. But why dwell on this? Gao is dead, and perhaps Pin Mei has found some peace. That's what really matters. That, and what we still have to accomplish. Well... Things like this are important to dwell upon. <sighs> You're right, but we have to pick our time, and now isn't it. We can talk about this later. Alright, alright. Um, any thoughts on what we're doing? 
When you say the word, we're ready to leave. I'm looking forward to seeing the Imperial City again. I appreciated the hectic pace when I was there. When we reach the Imperial City, we'll have a whole host of new problems. You have to love a challenge. Of course. Uh, and what do you know about this area? I only spent enough time in Tien's Landing to learn the location of Gal the Greater's stronghold. It's a nice enough place, though they're still adjusting to the flooding of the old town some years ago. Alright, well, that, I guess that's all I need from you. Always happy to help. Why, thank you. You're sweet. You are a very sweet Sky. I like you. Um... Hey, Mick. What's going on? Uh... Angelus. Around. There you go. What's going on, Mick? What? What do you want? Uh, do you have an arrow above your head? I just thought I'd chat with you. What are you asking me for? You've got everything you need to make that flying machine go. So, let's go already. All right, all right. Well, I still have... I'm looking forward to getting to the Imperial City. They've got the cheapest wine in all the Empire. <laughs> and plenty of it. Well, thank goodness for that. At least you'll be able to keep yourself occupied and busy while we're there. Nah. Nah. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well talk to... Talk to Wildflower while we're at it. Hey, Wildflower. Can I not talk to you, Wildflower? Do I need to choose? Let me let me go ahead and put Sky in my party. My blades are yours to command. Is that all you say? All right. We haven't had Sky in our team yet, so we're gonna we're gonna put him in. Hey, Wildflower. What do you want? Um. What do you think of our current situation? I think we should keep going. The Guardian says so too. The city is the center of the Empire. All roads lead there. All winds, too! We can fly! I've always wanted to fly! You are too cute, Lady F Little Flower, Lady Flower, Mayflower, whatever. Is there anything else you wanted? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Okay, Wildflower, that's right. Okay, OnStar. The people of Tien's Landing owe you a great debt. You saved their town. Master Lee would be proud of you, as am I. Well, thank you my dear. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Lee's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so after all the resistance we have encountered. Well, I think I have some loose ends to f take care of first. Um, and I'm interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? I'm trying to feel good about what happened at Gao's fortress, the lair of his pirates. We went looking for our master and perhaps another flyer, but we found I was not prepared for how cruel people could be. Seeing those people with no control over their fates, it is similar to a pain in my past that I have not thought about for a long time. Onsar, you weren't there. Stop stop using your psychic voodoo. You weren't there. How in the world did, can you say that you saw these things? Oh, oh gosh. Um, I'm not going to say I've always been interested in you, because um, that's just going to lead her on. Um, you don't speak much about your life before the school. I would not dream of saying my experience is similar to those poor people in Gao's fortress. But that lack of control, I know that well. One of the only things I know about myself is that on the morning I was born, the sky was red, like distant mountains were on fire. Perhaps it was dirge burning, as Zhu said. I believe it was an ill omen, and that stigma is why my abilities became a burden. That's why I must have been left at the school. Maybe. To be subject to the whims of someone else just because of what you are. Be you slave or outsider. Yes, I know that well. I guess that's one way to look at it. Um... That's a little mean. Um... I'm beginning to feel some of that myself. Go on. Yes, you are an outsider too. Albeit one with power to change your world. I think the slaves in the pirate layer would greatly appreciate your skill in defense. And I would make great use of your confidence. You inspire me to think of the possibilities, not just the problems. I'm gaining an appreciation for the person you are becoming. Perhaps we should speak on these matters again sometime. Okay, Onstar, really, you can stop stroking my ego. Because 
that's it's 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 getting a little too much, okay? Just 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 back just 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 cool it down a little bit. Just just a little bit. Goodbye for now. Be well, my friend. Emphasis on friend on star. Emphasis on friend. Okay. Kang. What's up, man? That's it! You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. Not quite yet, sir. Um, what do you think about our current situation, though? I think we're waiting around for nothing. We have the inscrutable power source, the wind map, and the flyer. The Imperial City won't fly its way to us. True. I want to go back to my other well, questions. Well, of course, of course. But time is better spent doing than talking. Um, tell me about yourself. I want to learn more about you. I found my way to Tien's Landing quite by accident. A very big accident. A few wealthy merchants lost some, um, property, and I almost lost my hat and my head. Uh-huh. Gao the Greater heard about my inventions and bribed some officials to effect my release. I thought I had found a nice rich benefactor, but I was locked away in his lair. He gave me a nice workshop, but he really was a fool. I showed him my wind map. He didn't care where it led. He was only interested in his slaves. I just realized something. Those, if you look at Mad Kang's hat, those, those diamond things hanging off of his hat, for whatever reason it makes his hat look more like a Mexican sombrero than, than the coolie, I think is what they refer to, a coolie. Um, this wind map doesn't lead to the Imperial City? It shows where I've been, not where I'm going, I think. I made it on my journey to, uh, you hear? Uh, but I don't quite remember where I was traveling from. Hmm, not good. No, not good. It seems to me I left something, a clue for myself, but I'm not sure why I'd need to. I, I, I don't suppose you'd be interested in taking a short trip back the way I came? Maybe. Um, but right not not right this moment. Um, do you have any idea where this wind map leads? None. And I am very good at remembering things. At least I think I am. I can't remember for certain. The map could lead anywhere, so we should let it. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that too. I'm not interested in flying right now. What? Oh, well, very well. I'll try to remember on my own. Let me know if you change your mind. I would be most interested to follow up on this. I would too, I just don't want to do it right now, okay? I swear, now every time I see Mad Kang, I'm going to want to sing La Cucaracha. Oh gosh. Um, I want to go back to my other questions. Well, of course, of course. But time is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's all for now. Yes, yes, goodbye. Now, back to my dragonfly. Perhaps the wings should be retractable for storage and um, rolling stops. Yeah, you work on that. Hey, zoo buddy. Why the sour face, Sue? The way is clear to the Imperial City. You need only to speak to our mad friend Kang, and he will prepare the flyer. I want to talk about what Inquisitor Lim said about you. That's right, Inquisitor Lim mentioned Zoo, and, you know, I, I think it would have been interesting if Zoo was with me at the time, but I'm going to bring it up now. That is an old wound. My departure from the Lotus Assassins was not gentle for either side. My immediate companions, those who were my brothers, fell by my hand. Ooh. Lim was not among them. He would have died if he was. I was labeled as the one who deserted, and I am occasionally recognized. The result is always the same. Another death. More blood spilled. Such a waste for a hatred they cannot even understand. Hmm. It must be difficult to regret the deaths of so many, my friend. Regret? I have no regret for killing anyone who challenged me of their own will. Death is a measurable cost of your actions. Some earn it sooner than others. All right, all right. Strength is the way of things, and death is the end, or should be. Some do not respect either. They have enough of one to defy the other. Um... 
Enough of which? Strength or death? Does it matter? Denying someone strength is to place yourself above that person without merit. Denying death is to step outside the natural order. Both are harmful. I did some harsh things while with the Lotus Assassins, but they no longer follow a path I recognize. They are a mirror of death's hand, and he embodies corruption. You will see as you get close to him. He draws out the worst in everyone and displays it for all to see. Huh. Um... Death's hand will fall like any other. You will see. You have no concept of the devotion of his followers. Perhaps we will talk again when I see more of where your path will lead you. All right. All right. For now, we should make our way to the Imperial City. That is where they took your master, and where we will find the heart of the Lotus Assassins. Um... I want to talk about you. I've said enough for the time being. The events that surround you cause me great concern. I want to see more of what is coming before I decide my next action. Alright, I'll give you your space, Zoo. Always gotta give you your space. Bye for now. Goodbye, then. And last but not least, our Ho, Henpecked Ho. Prosperous tidings. What can humble Ho do to assist you today? Uh, what do you think about our current situation? It would seem that we at last have the means necessary to get us back to the Imperial City, and for that I should be very glad. Because your wife's there? However, I must now face the greatest trial of all. My sweet wife will no doubt be waiting for me. Soon my time with the cannibals will be nothing but a fond memory. Ouch. Don't worry, man. I'll come with you. I'll go with you to your wife. We'll, we'll see what we can sort out. As you wish. I will be here waiting impatiently if you require anything. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, Sky. You hunky hunky man, you. Um. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. We have some loose ends to tie up. I believe I need to go see. For well, for one, I need to go see Minister Shang. And then, two, there's that. There's that uh, merchant that said he would give us a discount on items if we fix the damn problem. So... Did any of the peasants say anything about the dam? The Emperor doesn't care about us! That the dam is closed and the pirates are gone! Thanks to you, we can start rebuilding our lives! You are very welcome. You are most welcome. Alright. That's right. All the pirates and the sailors are gone, and we can all go back to... No pirates! The river... I hear strange sounds coming from the ruins at night. They say it's ghosts, but I don't believe that. Did I just completely miss? Am I going the wrong way, guys? Oh no, I'm here. Yeah, Mr. Shang's right there. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Let us go talk to Minister Shang. Maybe he's gonna give us a reward for our bravery. Hey, what's up, Mr. Shang? You did it! How the people will sing the praises of Minister Sheng, who found, hired, and sent forth the helpful peasant who ultimately solved the problem. Yeah, and, and sorry, I, apparently Angelus threw the key away that you gave me. Sorry. Not that you gave me a key to begin with, of course. I, I don't even know what we're talking about. What key? Um... Won't the Lotus Assassins be mad at you? Ha! <laughs> it is hard to argue with success. My lord, Judge Fang, Chief Minister of Harmony, will surely be impressed with me. He will protect me from the vile assassins. <laughs> no, my friend, it is time to bask in the glory of triumph. I'm fine with that. Uh, I have some questions for you. The dam is closed and the town is saved, so Minister Shang feels magnanimous. That means I will answer your questions, by the way. Great. Uh, has a fleet of flyers passed by recently? I recently saw a large fleet of flyers pass by. Minister Sheng held out hope that they had come to escort him away from this demeaning post and back to the Imperial City. But the flyers never stopped in Tien's Landing. They headed upriver towards the pirate's camp. 
No doubt they went there to refuel, though where they are now, I could not say. Oh, I know what happened to them. What can you tell me about these pirates? Not that you'd be able to tell me anything that I don't already know. The pirates are just one more affliction that plagues this troubled town, and yet another headache for poor Minister Shane. I fear not. I think I took they care of it. They raid the surrounding countryside, swooping down with their flyers to capture slaves. Swooping is bad. Do you know how bad it looks when someone under my jurisdiction is captured by slavers? Fortunately, they haven't attacked the town itself yet. Gao, the man I hear is running them, knows that would draw too much attention. Yes, Gao. Hmm. Um, anyway, goodbye. Very well, run along. Now that the dam is closed again, Minister Sheng is on his way back to the Imperial City. I'm sure of it. Great. That probably means we're going to see Minister Sheng in the city. Why do you still have that arrow over your head? Hello, hello. Don't think I'm ungrateful for your earlier efforts. I do, however, have much to do. Was any man ever so eternally busy as Minister Sheng? Um... Uh Ah, my favorite subject. Ask and Sheng, Imperial Minister of Harmony for this entire region, will let you bask in the glory that is... me. I don't remember if I actually asked about him before. Um... Oh, maybe I did. Why are you standing here in front of a cart? The shame! When the Great Dam opened and the lake drained, a ship was trapped in port and the sailors got quite rowdy. They got drunk and set fire to the Ministry of Harmony's office. That is the ruin of it over there. Fortunately, since the Great Dam has been closed, the sailors are gone. Right. And what does the Ministry of Harmony do? Woe to Sheng that his sole ally is an uneducated simpleton. The Ministry of Harmony oversees taxes and executions for this entire region. Really? The Minister of Harmony oversees taxes and executions? Um... Doesn't this entire region just consist of this town? Don't! Why... How dare... Yes, you are right. I am Minister of this bleeding pus pool of a town. And yes, it is because I am in disfavor. Are you through? I wasn't trying to, you know, poke fun Because you, you haven't yet picked on my appearance or my family history. Why stop short of completely obliterating the last little bit of dignity to which Minister Sheng clings? Hey, I did you a favor. I did you a huge favor. Um, uh, well, I'm gonna be, I'm done Very well, you. run along. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't know why your arrow is still above your head, but I'm just gonna continue on. Hey, Merchant Chung, remember me? Welcome back, Honorable One. Since the dam was closed, I've been able to restock my supplies. Would you like to see what I have for sale? Why, yes. Yes, I would. Um, show me what you have for sale. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Since you helped me out with Tong, you can have the preferred customer rate. Whoa, Storm Dragon style? Does direct damage in Chi Strike mode. This style's area attack initiate a harmonic combo that produces a focus power-up. The form and strikes of Dr Storm Dragon um, enable the master to call upon the power of lightning and damages an opponent. While this style attacks don't cause any direct damage, its motion summons forth electricity to course through its victim, doing small but constant damage over time. Storm Dragon will rarely win a fight on its own, but combined with other styles can be easily change can easily change the tide of a difficult battle. Interesting. I've got an awful lot of silver, so yeah, I'm gonna go purchase it. Yes. Sounds like an interesting interesting, you know, purchase. Intuition gem, charm gem, scholar gem, monk gem, warrior gem. Nah. I do wanna sell some stuff. What do I not need? Nah, I think I'm going to keep that. Minus 10% focus cost for evading traps. Eh, I'll sell that. Um, spirit plus 2, intuition plus 2. My intuition is huge. I don't think I'm going to really need that. Body flawed is... Anything flawed is probably too weak for me to worry too much about. Um... I think I need that. Yes. Um, spare.
spirit, charm, thief sense, allows the wielder to detect traps. Uh, maybe. Body plus two, inferior, flawed. Yeah, anything flawed I don't I can get rid of. Dwarf's gem of fate, inferior intimidation gem. I don't really see myself using intimidation ever, so there's a lot of it. We've got I had like four in stock or f five in stock. All right, intimidation gem. I'm yes, yes. Superior monk gem. Wow, spirit plus six. That's pretty good. Flawed monk gem. It's flawed. I don't need to keep it. Chance of focus power up. Sorrow. Um, inferior. Yeah, I don't need to use inferior. I have like three of these. Okay. R of calm gem. Um. Yeah, I can. Any of these that there are two of, there's three of these, so I can get rid of that. And then there's two of these, so I can get rid of that. Alright. That clears out my inventory a little bit. It gives me quite a good amount of money. Yes, style game Storm Dragon. I don't know, I'm running out of running out of things to map with. Um Yeah, Storm Dragon, let's put that at let's put that at nine for now. We'll see what I do with that. Okay. And I kind of want to see what um, Zin Bu has ah, to sell. Ah, excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. There's a sleeping tiger style. I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to purchase this. I'm going to wait because leaping tiger style, if I really wanted it, I would have gotten it at the beginning when I first built my character. And I already said that I was going to make, you know... I had already decided that I was choosing Legendary Strike over Leaping Tiger style, so it really doesn't make sense for me to purchase this now, since I could have purchased it before. I don't know. I might take a get it later, we'll see. But for now, I'm just going to Yeah, leave it in there. Okay. Come on, Sky. Um is there anything else in this town? Silk Fox. I'm not going to learn the way of closed fist, and I still need... I'm almost positive that I got two of the three scrolls of the Iron Palm style. I don't know why it's saying one, because I'm pretty sure I got the anvil one, this first one, the anvil one, back in Two Rivers, and then I got the second one in our last session, so I don't know why it says I only have one of the scrolls. Anyway.